What's up guys, Cody here, and today we're gonna to be looking at two fuse boxes from NVX, and they have a couple cool features which you may find very useful, so let's jump right in. We have the smaller size, which is for a mini a &L fuse, and we have the larger one, which is for a uh, larger standard a &L fuse. So the mini one, you're gonna be able to have a uh, four gauge input, and you have the option, you don't have to, you can continue that four gauge output, but you also have the ability to step that down to an eight gauge output in case that's what your amplifier or DSP or whatever you may be using this for uh, requires an eight gauge. And then with the standard, you're gonna be able to take a zero gauge and you could continue that zero gauge or you could step it down to a four gauge output if your amplifier or whatever uh, requires that of you. So on top of uh, being able to kind of step down that amp or the amp wiring uh, gauge size there, they also have uh, the modularity aspect, so you can kind of expand this as far as your imagination wants you to. It's gonna allow you to use it in a variety of installations from both car audio to marine to uh, RV, you know, whatever you need to get power from and put a little piece in the way to help protect that circuit. So on top of all that, you have these nice NVX branded uh, casings on the top, which are see-through. So if there is a problem in your system, if a fuse blows, you're gonna be able to uh, quickly identify which fuse is blown and just take the one casing off as opposed to having to maybe snap off, you know, a couple of them to look around. And not that these are very hard to get off, they're pretty easy to remove, but, you know, time is money and, and this will save you a little bit of time and they're, you know, a pretty good deal. So maybe even save you a little bit of money. And on top of being see-through and saving you that time, they are uh, high temperature and high impact resistant. So you're not gonna have to worry about putting too much power to maybe melt that plastic and you're not gonna have to worry about something shifting around in your in your uh, trunk space and breaking that and then you got to worry about cleaning that up and then you got to worry about how are you going to cover this you know this open fuse here you know we're just taking it all making it simple for you so you have your nice covers as well as the, um, the fuse block itself is a solid brass as well as a satin uh, chrome finish which is going to allow you to get that maximum current transfer as well as an ultimate circuit protection for for whatever you're using these in. That's kind of it for the features and, and what these things can do. We are gonna take you out to a vehicle that we have these installed in, and we're gonna just kind of show you how they're set up and, and some of the uses and functionality of these items inside of an application. So we're out here in our vehicle that we've got kind of a setup going for it. So as you can see, we have our power coming in here to our fuse, and then we have this linked over via the uh, bar that comes with the uh, fuse holder here. So we have power going to these, and then we also have kind of diverted it over to go to our separate amplifier for just the subwoofer. And then the same's going on with our ground. So we have our ground going here, but we've also kind of linked it over here as well so we can take the ground out to our other amplifier as well. So this is a pretty good example of how you can kind of use these. And you just have your one ground going to where you've grounded off and your one power going to your battery. And you're able to utilize that to kind of divvy out all that and bring it to the appropriate system. So. So that's it for this video guys. I hope this was informative. Uh, we're gonna leave the links in these for these two products in the description below. As always, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. And if you're feeling like it, be sure to comment what you might wanna use something like this in. You know, there's plenty of applications. I'm sure some of you guys could think of some pretty cool ones. But uh, that's it for this one and we'll be sure to see you guys in the next one.